This is Witchbase News for Friday the 13th of January 2023 I'm Commander Burr. In Elite Dangerous News this week we have news on Update 15's targeted release window. Frontier start to address mission board issues and there's an opportunity for you to give feedback on the war. The anti xeno initiative create the definitive video to guide beginners through Thargoid combat and more. If you enjoy our videos please do hit the thumbs up, subscribe and ring that little bell to ensure you see all our Elite Dangerous content. You can also help directly support us by joining our Patreon, links to that and everything else are below. In case you're wondering, yes I have a cold. We start this week with news that a group of commanders from the galaxy's premier Thargoid mashing super collective, the Anti Xeno Initiative, have collaborated to bring together their collective wisdom into what must now be the most comprehensive guide to killing Thargoids in Elite Dangerous. Perfectly edited and constructed the tutorial comes in at 35 minutes long but importantly it's broken down into clear and easily clickable sub chapters in the video covering off each subject from Thargoid variants, their tactics and special attacks, building the current meta anti xeno ship, how to use that ship in combat, common mistakes commanders make and more. Each sub lesson is taken by a different commander and collectively it builds into a fantastically comprehensive, easily navigable and just completely usable one stop shop guide to getting started in the world of anti xeno combat. If you're new to AX combat or even looking to find out what perhaps you don't know about the skill it is quite simply highly recommended viewing and our congratulations go out to everyone involved. You'll find the Anti Xeno Academy Learning to Fight Thargoids video in the Asterion YouTube channel, which is linked below. We reported last week that everyone's favourite evil mega corporation, Azimuth Biotech, may have made some progress in increasing the current hard limit of four experimental AX weapons per ship. A further Galnet news story was published this week confirming that the cackling mustachioed mass murderers had indeed created what they're calling an experimental weapons stabilizer system that redistributes the physical stresses that the experimental weapons put on a ship allowing it to add more of the weapons to any spare hardpoints. It's not yet known what form the module comes in and what commanders might have to relinquish in order to install one but it appears that the device comes in two flavours, medium and large, each module adding one or two weapons to the loadout respectively. A community goal or two is expected in the near future to supply the necessary materials to construct the new devices. Knowing Azimuth I fully expect the device to redistribute the stresses on the ship that they made mention of into a bag of soft fluffy kittens. Senior Community Manager Sally Morgan Moore took to the forums on Thursday to advise that some initial fixes had been implemented on the games back end to address the problems with mission boards not working as intended that was an unfortunate side effect of update 14 that had been plaguing some commanders across the festive break. Whilst the developers are confident that the fixes should be making improvements they are continuing to monitor the issue moving forward. Elsewhere on the forums this week senior community manager Bruce Garrido reached out to the community to elicit feedback on the current Thargoid war scenario and gameplay that is currently taking chunks out of the bubble. For this round of feedback gathering FDev are interested in what we think works and what doesn't work and they're just as interested in the wider picture on the war as they are in the minutiae of the systems currently at play. Bruce made a point of specifically mentioning that they'd heard the feedback from commanders regarding for example the 500 meter scanning range of the Xeno scanner now being too short as Thargoids are instantly hostile and refuse to sit still while you scan them and that the current overall war system contains no discernible indicated in game focus for commanders looking to assist and the organisation and direction of the war effort is all therefore happening outside of the game. 
To get your voice heard if you'll excuse the irony in that phrase today, be sure to check out the link below this video. Frontiers weekly discovery scanner update post that heralds the start of each week for Elite Dangerous this week brought news on the cadence for the next two updates into the game. We knew already that we were expecting updates 15 and 16 at some point this year but Frontier have now introduced an interim update into the schedule before those two updates arrive in order to address some issues resulting from the deployment of update 14. That update is currently targeted to arrive later this month. When we have any more news on that we'll let you know here. Following that we do know now that update 15 to the game is targeting deployment for April of this year. Thus far the content of that update is unknown. Frontier confirmed that their first live stream of the year kicks off on the 19th of January that's Thursday next week and it's entirely possible we may hear more about January's interim update to the game then. Whilst we're on the subject of live streams there are currently some paint jobs to be grabbed from Frontier's partnered content creators a list of which you can see on screen now. Your chance to grab the Blizzard Evergreen paint job pack runs until the end of January. It's become an annual tradition at this time of year for Frontier to release exploration statistics for the Elite Dangerous Galaxy. This year being no exception the Cambridge based developers tweeted this week that in total 236,219,997 star systems have been explored which leaves just 0.059% of the galaxy actually discovered. The numbers associated with the Elite Dangerous Galaxy never fail to impress. Here's to another year ahead commanders. Will you be dipping your toes into Thargoid combat using the new AXI video guide? You may not like Azimuth Biotech but will you still buy and outfit their new modules to point more weapons at the Thargoids? And what are you expecting update 15 to deliver in April? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then, 07 Commanders, follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.